What up, everybody? It's me, the Fat Assassin, and on today's episode, guess what we're talking? We're talking ground meats, both beef and turkey. So check it out. All right, so today we're talking about ground meats, and I want to just basically illustrate a few of the minor differences from a label standpoint that can actually um, mess you up as far as your macros are concerned if you aren't paying attention. So check this out. We got three different ground meats, turkey and two different beefs. Let me put this here so you guys can see it good. Now, I want you to see that this top one is 96% lean. This one's 93% lean. And then this ground turkey is also 94% lean. So check this out. We'll flip it over, take a look at the label. So for the 96% lean turkey and ground beef, the macros are pretty much the same. So, well, actually not for those two, it's actually these two. So turkey, ground beef, and ground beef. So check this 93% out. Oh man, we can't see it. We got to see it here. So eight grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. Seven grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. Remember, this is turkey. This one is the other ground beef. Four grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. I don't know if you can see that. So we got that. Now check this out. 96% lean, 93. There's only a 3% difference in the lean versus fat between these two ground beefs. But the difference from a fat perspective on the backside per serving is four grams. The protein stays the same. The only thing that goes up is the fat. But that difference between those four grams is what can mess you up. So let's say you do one four ounce serving with this, you would get four grams of fat and 24 grams of protein. But with this, you would get eight grams of fat and 24 grams of protein. Now, let's say you need more protein in your diet. You want to do two servings at the same time. Well, now you just double. You're at 16 grams of fat if you go with the 93%, but you're still only at eight grams of fat if you go with the 96% lean ground beef um, on this side. Now the 96% costs a little bit more than the 93% in most cases, unless you can catch it on sale. Uh, but just to show you the differences between the two. Now let's go to the turkey because I think a lot of people are like, oh, I'm just going to get ground turkey. It's automatically going to be lean because it's ground turkey. Wah, wah, wrong. Ground turkey also has different percentages of leanness depending on what brand you get. So for this one, this is a 94% lean. We flip it and take a look at the label. <clears throat> Seven grams of fat per serving. 24 grams of protein. So this one is pretty close to the 93% lean, just ground beef. So just because you see turkey, I just don't want you to go to the grocery store and be like, oh, I'm just going to get this ground turkey. It's going to automatically be like 99% fat free. Negative. The turkey, they make different percentages just like they do ground beef. So if you get the 99% fat free for turkey, you're going to have like one gram of fat per serving. And servings for all these are going to be four ounces. Okay. Um, but on this, again, seven grams of fat. Now. For me, right now, as a 240 pound male, I can eat two servings of this and be good to go. But let's say you're a five foot five, 140 pound female. You probably don't, you, you're not allowed as many fats per day as me. So this, if you had two servings of this, or if you weren't paying attention, and there are some that have higher, there's some where I've seen as much as 16 grams of fat per serving, um, four ounce serving of turkey. Same with ground beef. The protein stays the same. So if you get that, you might, 
not be paying attention and blow your calories or your fat grams out the water per day if you're not paying attention because you chose the wrong uh, ground beef or you weren't paying attention and didn't adjust your macros accordingly because you can still get these you just have to adjust the rest of your day for the number of fats that you're getting from eating this ground beef or ground turkey I'm a ground meat fan. I like it. It's versatile. You can do a lot with it if you just cook it plain. You don't have to make burgers or whatever. So just be aware. If they on sale, make sure you get the one that fits your macros the best. So there's your quick low down dirty ground meat tutorial. Just watch yourself when you're in the grocery store. So there you have it. Next time you go to the grocery store and you're looking for ground beef, you know exactly what to look for. I'm the Fat Assassin and I'm here to remind you, food is fuel, eat food. And I'm out. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram at Rylan Jones. Snapchat handle Rylan Jones. Also on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Rylan Jones. You can also catch me on my YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Rylan Jones. To look for on the label. I'm just I don't like that. No, because Cap, I don't like that at all. Stop. We'll just leave it like that. Don't do that one. We'll do this one. This is the real one.